Hey guys, I'm back with another nail tutorial. Today, we're painting Pennywise. I'm gonna show you step by step how I do a 2D simplified character. First, you wanna grab some shading gel and we're gonna get the top sketch outline of his eyes. Directly underneath those lines, we're gonna do two curved half circles. Now, using my nine millimeter Dream Liner Brush, we're gonna do some very thin strokes for under his eyes. Now, we wanna draw out his eyebrow area. Next, we wanna grab some yellow gel polish and just fill in his eye area. By the way, you wanna be curing in between each different color. Taking some red liner gel, we're gonna go ahead and outline the yellow that we just laid down. And without curing, we're gonna take our blender brush and just kinda give it some shading. You're gonna cure that. And now we're gonna take our baddest black gel polish and create two black circles inside both parts of the yellow in his eye. We're gonna very thinly outline the top of his eyes. And now, using the shade Sinister, we're gonna go ahead and outline his eyes. Now we wanna give it some dimension. So using that same color Sinister, we're gonna go ahead and underline the bottom part of his eye. After doing that to both sides of the eyes, cure, and now we're gonna go ahead and add our black gel polish directly under that line we just created. You can also start adding a little bit of scratchy spots underneath the thick part, like you will see me doing right here. You want to create extremely thin lines, and that's why I love this brush. Now we're gonna switch to our Slim Shady Blender brush and go ahead and blur all this out. By the way, I am using this brush dry, and what we're doing here is just creating some texture. I mix some black gel into the shade Sinister and outline the bottom part of his eyes. Now using some shading gel, you wanna create two lines for wrinkles right here. These marks are gonna be very important in your art later. Now we're moving on to the nose. Each side of the nose lines up with the inner white part of his eye. After drawing out both sides, we're gonna go ahead and do a dip right here for the tip of his nose and follow this line pattern for the top of his nose. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and fill all that in. By the way, I'm using Oops I Did It Again liner gel, the best red liner gel out there. But of course his nose isn't perfect, he's messy. So go ahead and take your Slim Shady Blender brush and while this nose is wet, go ahead and just blur out the top. Go ahead and cure that in the light, and then we're gonna take some black shading gel and give this nose some dimension. I did switch to my five millimeter Dream Liner Brush for this. I love using a short liner brush to blur and blend small areas. The short pressure makes it super, super easy and convenient when blending and doing 2D character artwork. We're gonna do that to the top of the nose, and then we're gonna trace along the bottom down here and go ahead and blur that out as well. I forgot to mention that everything I'm using in this video, you can find on my website. I will list everything used in the description of this video below but you can't have shading without highlight so go ahead and lay some white dots down with white liner gel and while it's wet just blur it all out now we got to draw out the mouth start by doing a thin line for the top lip and ever so slightly we're just going to do a little hump for the top lip he's got barely any top lip but a whole lot of bottom just follow this line pattern i'm doing and you got this we're gonna trace along the bottom with black shading gel and followed along by a little bit of white highlight now we gotta add his teeth i mixed yellow gel polish into my white liner gel to create this buttery teeth color his teeth are jagged and ratchet and the first two front ones are giving buck like real 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 big the good part about doing his teeth is that they don't have to be perfect they just need to be ugly the front two ones are big and then there's like two little smaller ones on each side of those now listen while that is wet you want to take the color mocha magic and we're going to go ahead and do some wet blending using the small five millimeter brush just have fun with it you want to just make it look grimy and gunky and disgusting Make sure though that the lines in between each teeth aren't very thick. The only one that needs to be a little bit thicker of separation in between is the middle two. When you think you got your teeth how you want them, go ahead and cure that in the light. Now for this color, I just went ahead and mixed the color Sinister in with Oops I Did It Again liner gel and it created the perfect lip color. Make sure you do not slack with making that bottom lip big, honey, because his lip is big. Now for this part, you just wanna very thinly outline these teeth with that same color. Making sure that it doesn't run into the teeth that you just drew out, you just wanna kinda make a separation and then go ahead and fill in all of this lip down here. Now I created a dark red color mixing black with red and I'm just gonna outline the lip and while that's wet, we're gonna once again just blend that up into the red. By the way, I did cure that red part first. Now taking some shading gel, we're just gonna go ahead and outline this lip part down here. And while that is wet, we would just blur that out and blend it up into the lip. By the way, you're gonna go ahead and cure that and now using some straight up black liner gel. 
You guys, wait until you see this. Oh my God. We are gonna outline these teeth in black. Can you tell I'm excited to show you this? Oh my gosh. We're gonna add this little gap right here just at the very bottom. And now taking the blender brush while this black is wet, we're just going to so seamlessly blend out this into the red gel. There's nothing on my brush. I'm using it dry and look at how much dimension this gives your art. I literally can't even deal with how easy that was to blend out. And now I'm just adding some highlight down here on his lip. Now, you know, I'm a crazy person, so I want to add more shading. So I'm going to go ahead and add some black liner gel down here under the nose. And I'm going to go ahead and feather that up and blend that up as well, just to give that nose a little bit more dimension. Now taking some brown shading gel, I'm just going to separate these teeth slightly and using a brand new gel polish that is coming soon called Blood Bath. We're gonna take this blood red jelly color and we're gonna add the paint on his face. This color is literally blood in a bottle, you guys. Like, this is the best blood red jelly that I've ever come across. You wanna start the lines on the inside of the parts that we drew down before. Those two little wrinkles under the eyes, that's what these are gonna come out of. And that's why that line was so important. Of course, though, his paint is not perfect, so take that blender brush and just go ahead and start making it a little messy. Not too much, because you still want to keep that nice crisp shape, but you know, just give it a little bit of texture. Look at how cool this is looking, oh my gosh. But when he's smiling, I'm sure his paint is like cracking. So after you've cured those red lines, take some white liner gel and just leave some little cracks in going through this paint. I decided to go with a matte finish using my matte top coat and I just can't even. Just when you thought it couldn't get better, look at how this matte makes it pop. But we're not done yet. We're gonna use that blood red jelly and just give him some wet blood coming out of his mouth. So creepy and look at this, you guys. Go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back if you just painted this because this is going to be such an amazing design for Halloween time. It's so creepy and super dimensional. And after following those steps, was it really that hard? Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also drop me a comment if you want me to paint this Pennywise next. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye, guys.